Well, no doubt the modern American diet shares more than a few connections to our nation's cattle and livestock industry, which is why Oklahoma dietitians were given a chance to connect with those who raise cattle and survey the products they produce. Our Russ Joel explains. It's a fact of life we just can't ignore. From the beef we eat to the milk we drink, today's American diet is unquestionably connected to the world of livestock. So it only makes sense that those who recommend the contents of our diet are also given a chance to connect with the people whose job it is to raise those cattle and produce healthy, quality foods. They really work hard to create a wholesome product for us that's good for our families. Which is why attendees of this year's Oklahoma Dietetic Association Conference headed out across the state to get an up-close look at the Oklahoma cattle industry and see firsthand how their food goes from the pen to the plate. They're really committed to telling people and they want people to know that they're passionate about their product. Susan Allen is a program director with Dairy Max and says that having a passion for their way of life is what drives cattle producers to create healthy, quality products. And they really continue to have that passion for their product. Um, if they didn't enjoy their way of life and living on the farm and, and hopefully passing this farm down to their family members, they, they wouldn't be there. The first stop on our tour took us to Kingfisher where dairy farmer Todd Mason has transitioned from manager to owner. We moved here about 10 years ago uh, from Liberal, Kansas. I was a manager at a dairy up there and uh, kind of wanted to do it on our own, so uh, looked to get a new dairy and found this place and thought we could make it work. Todd's 1,400-acre dairy is home to about 600 cows, and while his dairy is quite larger than most, he has managed to take personal responsibility for all aspects of his herd's well-being. Basically raise all our heifers ourselves, do all our veterinary stuff ourselves, and uh, try, to, try to keep everything in-house. You take care of your cows, take care of your business, it should come back to help you. We're getting a lot more coordinated between the different segments of the industry. Joining us for the tour was Oklahoma State University professor Chris Richards, who sees a trend toward cattle producers taking a greater interest in the final products they produce. We've seen that they've uh, become more engaged in realizing that they have an impact on what ends up on our consumers' plates. A trend that employees at our next stop take very seriously. Basically what we do is just use, just use the hair to you know, create shape and angle and lines that are more desirable. Dan Kelly is a groomer here at the Express Ranch in Oklahoma City putting the final trim on beef cattle for their upcoming sale. And you want a square hip, and, but you want a lot of shape through a quarter, you know, to the top of their hip. While not every ranch may have an on-site groomer, people like Dan are popping up on ranches all across the state, a sign that the care and nurture of cattle has entered a new era. The application of technology in the beef business continues to grow. Gerald Callahan is president of the Express Ranch and explained to our group that technological advances in ranching have improved the quality and safety of beef produced in the United States. From the producer level on through the fabrication and the supermarkets, we have the safest uh, beef supply in the world. And, 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 and beef is a nutrient rich, it's high in iron, it's a very healthy product to eat. Ensuring Oklahoma's dietitians that the foods they recommend will be safe, healthy, and nutritious.